Okay, we're going to, welcome to part six of the Django of the photo web application with Django. So in this video, I'm going to be speaking on database relationship with Django instead. So we have three basic relationships in Django. So the first one is the one-to-one -one relationship. The second one is the one-to-many, which is also known as the foreign key. So the third one is the many-to-many -many relationship. So in this video, I'm going to explain the one-to-many relationship and the many-to-many -many relationship in the stand. So in the future, I will explain the one-to-one -one relationship we get. So these are the one-to-one -one relationship works in the stand. So I will simply comment this out. Comment this out now and simply paste what we have here. So I'll remove some of the stuff we have here so not to confuse you because this one not using this correctly. So now you can see currently we have two Django model classes. The first one is called Reporter. Second one is called article. You understand? So these are two separate classes you get. So you can see this report size connected to this article we get. So these are we want to many relationship works. Let's assume a manufacturer and a and cars manufacturers and cars. You understand? So imagine a manufacturer can have several cars under its name. You get. So let's assume Toyota is a manufacturing company. Toyota. Toyota has several cars under its name. Toyota has Toyota Camry, Toyota Corolla, Toyota Venza. Those are a list of cars under the Toyota manufacturing company. You get so you can't find Toyota Camry under a different manufacturer. It's not possible. You get so that's the one-to-many relationship. Whereby we have a single manufacturer that has many cars under its name. So that's how a one-to-many relationship is. You get so. And so what we have on our screen currently we have a reporter you get because this reporter is the one and you have the article which is the many get so you a reporter has many articles you get a reporter can write many articles and those articles the reporter has written can only belong to this reporter you get so a reporter has many articles so for you to connect these two model classes we use what we call a foreign key you get a foreign key is used for connecting a one to many relationship you get so how do we do this now you can see this reporter is currently the parents elements here and the article is the child mm -hmm. elements you understand so said so the reporter is the one a reporter can have several articles you understand but a particular article can never belong to several reporters no a reporter has several articles why particular articles can't go to can go to different reporters that's how it works you get so you can see now under the child class we have we are going to add this reporter we are going to add we are going to connect the reporter to the child class instance so you get so this is the parent this is the child you see we have a field called reporter which connects to the reporter class we created on top instance it's used a foreign key you get and Using a foreign key, there's this important argument called on delete. You get this on delete is really really important because if you don't add it, it's gonna throw an error. So you can see it's holding a value called models.cascade. Most times it holds this value or a different value called models.set null. You get so what this models.cascade does is this. I'm gonna explain this. So whenever you delete the parent element which is the reporter whenever you delete it what, what model does cascade does that whenever you delete the print element it makes sure that the child also gets deleted let's see i have a reporter on the database called john and john has written some articles to his self to his name he gets so whenever i delete that reporter called john whenever i delete that reporter called john whenever i delete him from the database it, all the articles he has written also gets deleted. This is what the models of the cascade does. You get so, and there's another value it holds called models of set null. You get so this. So what this does is that whenever you delete the reporter, it keeps the children, the child. You get so. That is for the that is for the foreign key relationship. I, I just finished speaking on the many once many relationships. So now I'm going to speak on the many to many relationship. You understand? So. Simply, I'm going to remove this one we have here. You get so our many to many relationship works is quite similar. Instead, let's assume we have a category, a category model, and a book model. Instead, so you get so now 
this is how four relationship work you get so a particular category can have several books under it and a book can belong to several categories in this time let's assume you have a book so this book belongs to the self-help category and also belongs to the or uh, let's say fiction category you get so you can see this a you can see so now and that same category fiction also have a lot of books on that it does i many so many relationship works i'm going to simply paste this line of codes here and explain what we have here understand so we have this model called publication model called publication and the other model called article so this is a many this is a many to many relationship because a publication has several articles on that and and also an article has been published in many publications you can see a many to many relationship you get a publication has many many articles on diet and secondly an article has been published in many publications these are a many these are a many to many relationship works this is as looking quite theoretical to you so as you keep building you just start getting more practical and you're going to understand better so in the next video i want to show you how to configure image fields in Django. So that's for that though. We'll see you in the next video.